tuned into particular frequency and here we are going to see how to design it so let's go here first uh, we are going to need a bjt i mean yeah bjt and uh, this npn bjt to get the npn bjt i go here let me see okay here we are looking at npn and that's right here so click this one put it right here and i'm gonna zoom out a little bit okay and then let's put some transistor capacitor and inductance uh, here i need an inductance over here and a cap capacitor over here and then i need a capacitor here and one here and that is it now let's put some resistance we can put a resistance over here and then one here and that is enough and after that we need voltage sources and yeah voltage sources to get a voltage source i click this one and you can see the voltage right here click it we need one over here and one over here and let's connect the wires <coughs> so i'm connecting the bjt to this capacitance over here and that one connected with a voltage source and uh, i want to connect this one with this this voltage source with this resistance and this resistance Okay, and this wire goes and connect with this capacitor and that goes to the BJT like this and then from here we have the wire that connects the inductance and the capacitor Okay, and then the voltage source on the top will be connected with this. And we need to ground them. So connect one ground here, one ground over here. And this resistor has to be connected. And uh, this transistor also has to be connected and that's basically it now we have to just connect the grounds <coughs> okay and that's basically it now let's we can go ahead and put some values for each of them uh, this one is one micro one ju that will give the micro if you type u that becomes micro and then uh, here we need 2.5 milli entries 2.5 and then here 0 0.1 micro ferret and that's micro so i put a u here and uh, this voltage right here is 10 voltage and this capacitance right here is one micro and this resistance right here is 10k ohm resistance and uh, this one also 10k <coughs> okay and here we need a sine wave voltage so in order to get this one, I need to go to advanced and then here I, I need to click sign and uh, we can put the offset amplitude and frequency over here. Let's set the offset to be zero and the amplitude to be two and the frequency to be one K Hertz. 
and uh, AC amplitude I set it to be one. Okay, click OK. And then what else we need? Seems like everything we have, and also the NPN transistor. I had to choose a model. To choose a model, I right click, pick a new transistor, and then here I choose the one I like. I need the 2N3905. Select this one, click OK. Okay, that is right there, and that is it. And the V input is going to be over here. Let me label that V in is over here. And the V out is over here. You know, for the label, I should I should use this one. This one over here. V in. And uh, the V out is going to be over here. okay and uh, this one over here is a 10 voltage let's mention that okay that is basically it and uh, now if I want to run I had to set a stops I mean uh, stop time I said that would be 10 uh, millisecond okay uh, but before I do that I need another one that is directive spice directive for this one I put AC DEC 101 1k to 100k Okay, now we can analyze the behavior of this circuit. Okay. One second. So, in this one, we, we're just looking at the class C power amplifier. The class C power amplifier is uh, it has a certain frequency amplified to the max. Uh, let's look at it. So now we are ready to run. Let's run this one. And to check the input output relationship, I click the input and we have a sine wave like this. And if I check the output over here, uh, you see a pattern like this. But it's something wrong here. Let me double check what I'm missing because this is not what I supposed to get C3 1 micro and then sine is okay AC 1 and this is 10 millisecond and then 10k 1 micro 10k V out 0.1 micro and this one is milli Henry's okay let's run this one again okay now we are getting the right shape so this is in the time domain right now so if I want to check this one uh, we are interested in checking in the frequency domain because we want to see uh, is it amplifying in the particular frequency to the high and maximum and stuff like that so to check that one what I have to do is I, I need to change this uh, spice directive to be dot instead of semicolon and I need to change this dot trans to be semicolon right here and if I run again now we are seeing the frequency relationship and you see it's amplified to the max at 10 kilohertz and that's what uh, has to happen that's what the AC power amplifier uh, class C power amplifier do it uh, amplifies for the particular frequency high to the particular frequency that is in this case 10 kilohertz and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video